There's a killer on the loose in Milwaukee, and the victim's family says the man wanted for pulling the trigger should have been locked up at the time. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you why one of Wisconsin's most wanted criminals keeps getting caught, then released, and the one factor that makes this case different from the Waukesha parade attack. It doesn't take a sophisticated assessment tool to see this person is dangerous. Complete menace of the city. The trick is measuring that danger in dollars. Money ultimately at the end of the day does not equate to safety. And that explains why Kenneth Twyman is a wanted man again. It makes no sense whatsoever to me. This woman we'll call Mary is worried. We don't know Kenny's lad next move and that's a, that's a fear for us. That's a great fear. That's why you're talking to me in the dark here. Yes. Exactly. Last month outside the Quick Mart near Fond du Lac and Locust, someone shot and killed her nephew, 24-year-old Tavon Luckett. What happened? What happened? Her confusion turned to anger when prosecutors charged Twyman with homicide. Four outstanding warrants, four felony open cases. In 2018, police say Twyman led them on a high-speed chase, crashed into an SUV with a mother and three young children inside, then ran off into the darkness. Inside his car, police found a half pound of marijuana, cocaine, heroin, scales, a gun, ammo, and seven mobile phones, including one that contained videos so concerning. Never seen such reckless behavior in my days. Twyman quickly became one of Wisconsin's most wanted. U.S. Marshals are asking for your help locating this 19-year-old Milwaukee man. After Fox 6 News featured Twyman's story in December of 2018. Tonight, that suspect is in police custody. U.S. Marshals picked him up in Arkansas. A Milwaukee judge set bail at $3,000 cash. And a few months later, Twyman was out. He was free to wander the streets in Rome to do whatever he wanted to do. Since then, he's been in and out of jail, skipping court at least six times along the way. And in January, U.S. Marshals went to get him again. This time, they found him at his mom's Milwaukee apartment, along with a 9mm handgun, 17-round magazine, two pounds of marijuana, and wads of cash. State of Wisconsin versus Kenneth Twyman. In a digital recording of Twyman's initial appearance, his lawyer tells the court a thousand dollars bail is more than enough. The only other job he has is working with his father at his father's store. Still, prosecutors wanted much more, and they got it. I am gonna follow the state's recommendation for set the seventy five hundred dollars cash. That's a pretty substantial amount of bail, right? Seventy five hundred dollars? Yeah. Four days later, I don't wanna be on that camera. This man, who identified himself as a family member of Twyman's, paid seventy five hundred dollars. And he's out again. To commit murder. On April 14th, police say Tavon Luckett went into the Quick Mart to get pizza rolls. When he came out, he recognized Kenny Twyman and called his name. A witness said the two men appeared to shake hands before Twyman shot Luckett in the neck and chest, then hopped in a car and rode away. Did that cash bond keep your family safe? No. No, it did not. We are still not safe. We're equating a higher cash bail with public safety, and that's just not the case. Nick Sainer is co-founder of Justice Point, Milwaukee County's pre-trial services agency, and an outspoken advocate of bail reform. If money isn't going to work and money doesn't work, then we have to take a look at other options. But bail reform means different things to different people. The Waukesha parade attack last fall focused attention on low bail for violent offenders, prompting state Senator Julian Bradley to call for minimum bail amounts for certain crimes. How do you pick a fixed dollar amount like 5,000 or 10,000 and say that's the magic number? That's not the magic number, it's the minimum. It's the starting point. Twyman posted a total of $12,500, but still wound up charged with homicide. When someone needs to be detained, they need to be detained, period. Saner wants to eliminate cash bail altogether by releasing most defendants until their cases are resolved, but holding the most dangerous ones in jail, no matter how much cash they have. You're held until your hearing date. How do you feel about that? I think that's a very good idea. As it is, Mary says the criminal justice system let her family down, but it's what happened after her nephew's death that rubbed salt in the wound. You know that he was going to be there via Zoom. I mean, 
Why didn't you go and get this guy? On April 21st, a Milwaukee court commissioner issued a homicide warrant for Twyman. The next day, he was in court on a different case, appearing by Zoom from his lawyer's office in Racine. The prosecutor knew there was a warrant, but according to Deputy DA Kent Lovern, she said nothing. It would be in the interest of law enforcement of the, and in our interest to uh, not have that information divulged to a subject who is wanted. All they had to do was just pick up the phone and make a phone call. Mary says her family members are grieving, but they are also scared. Who knows what he's going to do next? If the system won't hold Kenneth Twyman accountable, she says, This could turn into a real gun battle within the city of Milwaukee. The streets will. Kenneth Twyman was actually due in court in Waukesha County on Monday for a plea and sentencing in a felony bail jumping and drug possession case from 2021. But with that homicide warrant out for his arrest in Milwaukee, of course, he was a no-show here. We're told Milwaukee police have now asked U.S. Marshals to find Kenny Twyman for the third time. In Waukesha, Brian Polson. Fox 6 investigators. Kenneth Twyman has retained attorney Mark Richards to defend him in the 2018 police chase in at least one other case. Richards, of course, is best known for defending Kyle Rittenhouse on his way to an acquittal over the Kenosha protest shootings. He did not return a phone call seeking comment.